Welcome again, everybody, to another edition of First Person here on PressProsMagazine.com, the initial first person for the 2015-16 high school sports season, and I might also add the initial edition of First Person under new sponsorship, the Crystal Ballroom Banquet Center here in Troy, Ohio, for your next event. Great staff, great location, and great service. They will make your next event one you'll always remember. Again, for more information, click on the Crystal Ballroom website through Press Pros to get all the information on how to schedule your next event. Again, conveniently located in Troy at I-75 and Route 55 at 17, 718 across from Kroger's. It also uh, represents, does this edition of First Person, uh, somewhat of a new beginning for football at Troy High School. That's where we are this week with the new head football coach, Matt Burbacher. And Matt, uh, longtime associates, uh, you and I, and uh, a lot of time spent together talking football. And the first thing I'm going to say is that it took me a little bit of by surprise back in April when you were announced as the new coach here given the fact that so many guys like you from Loramie, six years, success, I think five trips to the playoffs in the six years, but so many guys from those small division five, six, and seven programs who are choosing to stay there because security, community support, attitudes of the kids, and I guess the one guy that stands out to me the most is Tim Goodman. At Marion Local, who's been there 13 years, he's won eight titles. And he said, "There's everything in the world that I want right here at Marion Local. A guy that could go anywhere in the state of Ohio and coach at a bigger school." So it's a little bit surprising, and I'm going to give you the opportunity now, here on the first person, to say, "Here's why I came to Troy." You know, first off, Fort Army is great. I love Fort Army. My family, we love Fort Army, mm -hmm. and they were great to us. Great to my wife, great to our kids. And um, this was just a unique opportunity, you know, to coach Troy football. You just look at the history of Troy football. When this job opened up, you know, I, I thought about it and, and really went back and forth because just like Marion, you know, Fort Army gave you everything you needed, the support um, from the administration, community, you know, great kids. But there was just something about this Troy job that intrigued me. And, um, and I, I, you know, I followed Troy football ever since I was at Tip City, you know, in school, you know, left to go to college, you know, lived in Cincinnati, came back to Tip City. So I always knew about Troy football, you know, and Troy football was the elite program here in this area and across the state. So the last few years, it, it has gone down a little bit, but you know what? I wanted to come here for that challenge of getting Troy football back to where it was. Before we get to Troy football, I'm going to say that it had to be, and I've known you for a long time, I've known your father for a long time, I know how you guys feel about kids. It had to be very tough for you to walk in and face those kids at Fort Morney. <laughs> you have built a culture of football there in those six years, and I talk about the success you had, the trips to the playoffs, the winning records, the expectations that those kids grow up with, the anticipation of playing for you playing Army football, and you say, I'm leaving. Yeah, that I, that was, I, I know it vividly. Thank goodness we had a two-hour delay. Lump in your throat? Oh, very much so. And it was it was something I accepted the job Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. um, and so I knew Wednesday morning I wanted to say something to the kids. So we had a two-hour delay, 10 o'clock, right when school started. They called the kids down. And just walking from my classroom down to the gymnasium, you know, you know, every thought ran through my mind. But when I walked out in front of those boys and my coffee cup was shaking, you know, sideways and, and they knew something was up. But that, that was very difficult, but I wanted those kids to hear it from me and not from anybody else. And, and I told them, you know, in life, you know, if you have success or, or whatever, there's going to be opportunities and there's going to be tough decisions. And this, this was a tough decision to leave Fort Army. But, you know, I, I'm not looking back, you know, I'm looking forward, we're, at, we've, we're having a great summer here at Troy, and I wish, you know, Army nothing but the best, I know I'll, I'll be supporting those guys, you know, to no end, you know, a lot of those guys, I'll always be their coach, and, and anything they ever need, but you know what, this is a new beginning for us, and, and we're excited for the direction of Troy football. To that end, let's talk about what you're coming in and taking over here, because this is a program Let's face it, that has been in decline for the last three years. 
I don't know exactly the numbers, but uh, you know, you won one game here last year. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, when you get, get got here, you said, and boldly, this is Matt Burbacher. We're going to win now. Mm -hmm. We're going to win now, despite the fact that we're starting over, as we wrote about here a few weeks ago on Press Pros, we're starting over. We're not as big as we want to be. We don't have the running back that we've always had at Troy. We may not have that quarterback like a Tyler Wright or somebody who's been here before. Uh, I qualify. We're going to win and win now. I think I know what you mean, but a lot of people here are going to expect to win and win now. Yeah, and we're going to develop those kids. You know, we're going to have the quarterback. We're going to have the running back. We're going to, you know, the one thing Troy's always been known for is their offensive line. Mm -hmm. And that, that was our big focus. But our biggest challenge we've had so far is changing the mentality of the kids. That thinking of people saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, I told you a couple weeks ago, yeah. can't stop where we can use in our, our program. And rebuild's not. We are coming in here and we're changing that mentality. And the mentality of, no matter what you face in life, you can overcome it. And, and that's the same thing on the football field. There, in 48 minutes of football, there's going to be at some point in time where you have adversity. How are you going to respond to it? Okay, there's going to be positive adversity when we score and you're, you're feeling great about yourself. How are you going to respond to that? It's all about the response. And that's what we've worked on these kids all summer. And I tell you what, this morning at our workout, we had a great response from our kids. We kicked their butt this week, you know, with, with conditioning, the mental aspect. Yeah, it's that physical conditioning and all that one, but it's more so mental. And our kids are getting over that barrier of, you know what, I can do it. We can do it. Because not one person's going out there and doing it. This is a team game, the ultimate team game, when all these guys in this locker room believe in something, we can achieve anything we want. And, and that's our big, once we get over that hurdle completely and we get everybody over that hurdle, you know, all that other stuff's going to come. I have to bring this fact up. Uh, this is not just Matt Burbacher coming here. There, this is the Burbacher uh, regime uh, <laughs> coming here. And one of the, when you have a, a program like Troy, successful for so many years, Steve Dolan won 202 games here in 25 years, when you come here, you're going to have people, probably 5,000 people in this town who are qualified assistant coaches oh, who can tell you chapter and verse what's been wrong the last three years. And I hear things like lack of commitment, lack of communication, lack of discipline, lack of this, lack of, lack of organization. And you're bringing a guy here who is, if anything, known for his attention to detail talking about your dad who retired last year at Tip City after 30 years, 35 years overall coaching. But hey, here's a guy who's taking over your defense that, that I know you have to be pleased to have the opportunity, one, have him on staff for football, but two, just to be working with your dad. Oh yeah, to, you know, I guess to start with, to share a passion that dad and I yeah. have for the game, you know, and to be able to share that together. It, it's almost it's indescribable. I really I really can't explain to that when I'm you know every day after workout season the alumni room they're working I'm over here in the office and just to go over there and just talk. But you know when it with defensively you know I'm, I don't have to worry about a thing because he is the head coach of our defense and our defense is going to be ready to play football every week. You know he said a couple of weeks ago too. Well, our job is to make sure the kids are ready and get on the bus on Friday. Night. Yeah. And you know, I, I have no doubt that that guy will have those kids. No small task this day. <laughs> He'll have that defense ready. Um, but you know, he, he's a great addition. But you know, all those other assistant coaches we have on staff, I am I am totally pleased and satisfied with this staff that we have. Those guys are here every morning for our workouts, are getting to know the kids. You know, things are it, it, things are just different. Again, I don't. You know, I, like you said, with, there's 5,000 qualified assistant coaches here in Troy. That's great, you know, but I, I, I listen to them, but to be honest with you, I don't listen to them because whatever's been done in the past, it's been done in the past. There's nothing we can do about that. You know, this is the future. This is the way we want to run our program, and this is how we're going to get there, and that's what we're worried about. How important was it for you to put this staff together, the staff that you have? Because you have some ex-Troy people here. Mm -hmm. Our rights on your staff. Uh, for one, uh, quarterback here a few years ago. How important is the makeup of your staff? Because there's not a lot of holdovers here from uh, Scott Brewer or uh, Steve Nolan. You know, that, that was the second most important. The first thing was to get to know the kids and let the kids get to know me, start to build that trust relationship that we need. You know, but, but two, you got, you got Tyler Wright, you got Jason Manson, who was the 96 Division I Defensive Player of the Year. You got Ben Merker, who graduated mm -hmm. in 07 or 08. Those are Troy guys, they know the tradition. So 
So they're bringing that side of it. Then we got the guys coming in from the outside. And it's a great mix because you're, you're not losing that tradition of Troy football. Again, we're not here to change that or do anything like that. We're here to embrace that tradition. And Manson and Merkert and Tyler are able to, you know, inform us of, of things that have gone on in the past. But you know what? The, the camaraderie that our staff has already is awesome. And that goes on to the kids. The kids see that. It's a reflection of our football team and our football program. And I, again, I couldn't be more pleased with where we're at right now. Pickwood. Anybody mention Pickwood to you? Because I would be uh, remiss if I didn't say the importance of that rivalry, the importance of it, your standing, your profile as a successful coach in this community, in this county, uh, what that pride means for to be able to be, they, you know, here a few years ago, you won five straight, they've got you three straight as we sit here and talk now. Pick one. Pick one. Well, just a few uh, few steps over here to our left, there's a countdown clock <laughs> in my office. <laughs> and that countdown clock is directly for B Pick. You know, and that's going to be embedded in our in our weight room, 365 days out of the year, 24 hours a day. We are going to that. That's our focus. But you know, that's our pain day too. It's week 10. It's going to be for uh, hopefully the G Walk North title. Yep. It's going to be for a state playoff title, home playoff game possibly. You could. That's the light at the end of the tunnel. We got to get through those nine games, those first nine games, and then our payday is going to be week 10. You know, the Troy Pickle. Chuck Asher told me one time that when he took the job in Pickle back in the early 60s, Wilbur Horner was the uh, superintendent of Pickle Schools, and he says, Coach, welcome to Pickle. Don't buy a house till you beat Troy. <laughs> Don't make any plans on a house till you beat Troy. Well, I made that mistake. I've already bought a house. <laughs> We've already moved down here. But, you know, that, that I, I'm very, I can't wait for that game, you know, because I know it's part of the, the national rivalry here in the United States. It's you know, it, it is, that is what these people in Troy want. I was just getting my hair cut the other day, and, and the barber, that's what he wanted to talk about was the Troy Pickle game. And he's got a big panoramic picture up there in the barber shop of the 96 Troy Pickle game. Those stands were packed. There was, I think they said 13, 14,000 people. That's what we got to get back to. You know, I'll be a Pickle fan the first nine weeks of the season. I want them to be 9-0, us 9-0, and I'd be, that, you talk about a game. That would be a game, and plus this year the game's here at Troy Memorial Stadium. If that happens, if that, if that happens this year, there'll be a statue <laughs> to you right downtown on the square. Well, I don't know. I want a statue. If you're nine and zero going into that game, there'll be a statue. I, I, you know, that's we got. We're focused on CJ right now with Pickle in the back of our mind. But uh, you know, that, again, not one person can do this job. You know, it's going to take a whole community. You know, to rally around this football team to to get us to where we want to be, get Troy football back to where it was. <laughs> And then, you know, on Friday nights, there's nothing else to do here in Troy, Ohio, except to be here at Memorial Stadium. This guy thinks he can do it. We wish him all the luck in the world. Matt Burbacher, thanks for your time today on First Person. Hey, thank you very much. All right. That wraps up this edition of First Person, again, sponsored by the Crystal Ballroom Banquet Center in Troy, conveniently located at I-75 and 55 at 718, right across from the Troy Shopping Plaza in West Troy. For the sponsors, for Matt Burbacher, we wish you again a great sports season in 2015 and 16. And thanks for your support of high school sports here on PressProsMagazine.com. Until next time, thank you and see you then.